Bournemouth's bunting on Coronation Day to Burton Joyce in Nottinghamshire. We've long marked the monarch's milestones. Britain, jubilant, joyful and just a little eccentric. This is the village of Horsted Canes in West Sussex, the year 1953. The children all dressed up for the occasion. Not much has changed today with events taking place on the same green. I love fancy dress. And this film inspiring the platinum party planners. It's just nice to just bring it all, bring everyone back together again, especially after what's been happening the last few years. Um, everyone really needs it, um, you know, just to, to all of us to, to just pull together and have some nice time, really. So to make the bunting, this is what I did last time. From Sussex to Sheffield. It's just a matter of stapling it to the string. Lisa Mormon's streets making bunting. Okay. I just remember everyone being so excited. Here she is in 1977, enjoying the Silver Jubilee. They had all of the street parties, we got all the children out, um, and it was just a great occasion. I remember that, and hopefully let's do something similar for our children to remember to pass on to theirs. This park in Preston's promising England's biggest party, a mellow and multicultural meal for 600. Preston is so diverse, it's got a lot of finer, uh, different ethnic minority community groups uh, in, in the location. So it was important to reflect the residents of, of Preston to be here and let them feel part of this national celebration. Some streets saw the forecast and brought their parties forward a day. Waterproof bunting. Here in Shirley, they've been buying waterproofs and umbrellas. We're just improvising with as much uh, plastic above head as possible that we can get on a budget. Because <laughs> it's going to be a real shame if people just sort of come and everyone's huddled under their umbrellas and looking all miserable. We want everyone to be happy. Whatever the weather, parties are playing out across the UK, remembering and reminiscing 70 years of rain. Laura Bundock, Sky News, in Horsted Canes.